All right, I couldn't resist. I think, uh, before I, first off, I would like to thank Crystal Run and Dr. Corey uh, for sticking with the race and really now that it's coming back and, and on an upbeat, especially with regard to the kids' races yesterday. If you, if you want to really see something, come out the day before the Classic next year and really, really come on over and see what an impact this has had on the running community at this integral starting level here. Shorter, Orange County native, here with two other Orange County natives from Monroe Woodbury. But in this county, it's more like where you're from is a neighborhood. It's not really a city. Jack Jibb, the young one who just ran 910 for the steeplechase. Did you think about John Troutman as you were coming up? What kind of legend is he in the high school? I was running in high school. Everyone looked up to you. I mean, you, back in the 80s, I you know I started high school in 1982, and that's when you were running fantastic. And my dad used to drag me up here. I say drag because back in those days, I didn't really want to run. He'd come and run the Orange Classic, and the big thing was to watch Frank Frank Shorter run. And you know, watching you and, 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 and trying to emulate you was 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 what I did back in high school. And now college, and you're going to go to SUNY Buffalo, right? SUNY Buffalo. What do you think of the running program? It's, it's an upcoming program. They, um, they got a new coach a few years ago, and their distance programs just started taking off. Story, John, you got to come in here because you guys are going to enjoy this story. You know, this idea of, okay, now perform for us. And when I won the Olympics and I came back, and I was at my grandmother's house, and we're standing out front, and there's a guy from the local paper to take a picture, and he wants to take a picture of me. and. He says, now, could you look like you're running, <laughs> standing <laughs> standing there? You know, you're from Goshen. You went to college at North Carolina State. You actually are from an area where one of my old compatriots I trained with, Jack Batchelor, who was on the Olympic team in 1972 with me. You were on the 2012 Olympic team. But he was 6'7", he ran four flat for the mile, four flat point two, almost. You may have the same, you may have the same PR. Um, excited for today. Uh, obviously, a, a very cool event here um, on an amazing track, um, and it should be a good place to run fast and a good day for it. We got kind of cooler weather, cloud coverage, um, and a good field of guys. I think the plan is to try to go out with the rabbit at like 159 too flat and see what we can do. Frank Shorter, Middletown native, here with Eric Berg, who lives in Highland Park by way of Seattle. So welcome, welcome to the Orange County running community. Frank Schroeder here with someone who doesn't have to spell his name because everybody knows who he is. It's Bob Beeman. Still, in my mind, one of the most incredible performances in track and field history. That one long jump in Mexico City where you broke the world record by, I think, over a foot. First of all, it's good to be here, Frank. Oh, be hanging out with you. We're always here. And we, we always come back to Middletown. We do. And now you've left your legacy behind uh, of bringing up these younger generation and so it's always good to, to be hanging around with those people. And you know this is a wonderful kids event. It's the day before the classic. You know Crystal Run is great to put this on and here we're trying to discover on the track I feel kids who just love the movement. They just they, they realize this is what I like to do. Uh, thanks to this running venture 35 years of uh, bringing the running to the, to the streets here and uh, promoting uh, fitness and wellness programs. Uh, we really enjoy in Section 9 here, Orange County, uh, distance running and regular running and sprinting and active lifestyle. So uh, we've been a part of it, uh, Rich and I, for 35, 40 years and seen it develop. And uh, thanks to Frank Giannino and, and his crew and you and Bob promoting it, it's, uh, it's not going to stop here. It's going to get better and better.
to see that it's so alive and well and, and prospering and developing and having facilities like this, we know the future's bright for running in our area. And here I am, what, 50 years later, 55 years later, back in the same spot where I kind of found out I love to run with all these kids trying to do the same thing. And so, you know, thank you guys because it really works. It really works. Yes. From that point, I used to run, and I started when I was about 11 years old to run, for those of you who don't know the story, from my house over there to this school, which then was the junior high school. And that really was when I started to run in a structured fashion. And just to sort of finish the story, I was even so convincing, I, I convinced Mr. Bruner, the gym teacher, who became the uh, high school coach here, to allow me to run around this field during gym class rather than do gym class. So this is where I discovered running. This is where a lot of the kids yesterday discovered running. So I'm so happy you can all be here to share this uh, with me today. the paper uh, no I was sort of undecided I'm gonna jump in the 10k I can't I can't resist and <laughs> I was talking with Bob Beeman one of the one of the is still one of the most I get goosebumps when I think about his jump this man jumped over a foot further than anyone had ever jumped before in the Olympic Games when it really mattered go on YouTube and see he looks down he knows meters he sees how far he ran he collapsed he just he couldn't stand he couldn't believe he'd done it and, and he's such a great example of how many of you and those kids yesterday, you discover things about yourself here today. So good luck to everybody. Great day. Uh, Orange, uh, Orange Runners, thank you for putting this on. Val and Billy Kilcoin, I stay with every year. We've all become family in this. Frank Giannino, the only guy in the world is allowed to call me Fwanky. Thank you all, and let's have a good time. Thanks. Such a phenomenal event. The massive community support is amazing. County Executive Newhouse is always happy to make sure there's funding in it to support this. And it'll just have a safe, great run and enjoy yourself. Racers and runners, uh, good luck today, but most importantly, have fun running the Crystal Run Healthcare Classic 10K. Congrats to all of you.